Now this is the app for Molecule Smart Band. First, we connect to the Smart Band. Click it. It's connecting, and it connected. Mm, the first one is uh, today. Today shows information of today's like uh, sport, sleep, and heart rate. And sport, there's a data today, this week, and this month. Also, the completion means uh, step target completed. The step target is set in the target, in settings. And uh, sleep. The sleep also have data of today, this week, and this month. And uh, since there's no data today, uh, yeah, this is the data of August 29th of May. Uh, the total sleep time is 6 hours and 39, uh, 37 minutes, and uh, deep 2.6 hours, light 4 hours, stay up 2.3 hours. The sleep target is uh, 8 hours, and uh, completion is 82%. Wake up time, why? Not good sleep. And heart rate, there's a sleep average heart rate, average heart rate, highest heart rate and lowest heart rate. And uh, you can see the calendar, you can go to two months ago, June, two and a half months ago. Yeah, a long time data recorded here. And also mine is settings, like uh, user settings. You can set name and height and weight and birthday and uh, things like uh, skin color selection. I chose this one. And uh, calibration is a little low. And uh, also target, uh, I'll set it at uh, 8,000 steps per day. And uh, sleep target, 8 hours, you can set it 6 or 4, so suggested is 8 hours, so confirm. And device management, there's a continuous heart rate. Uh, the continuous heart rate means uh, when you keep it on, uh, you, the, the band will automatically test your heart rate every five minutes. Uh, there's a notice. Well, a notice that uh, the standby battery life is about uh, 10 to 15 days. If you keep the continuous heart rate monitoring on, the battery life is about only three days. So if you don't use continuous heart rate monitoring, you just uh, turn it off. It will save battery for you. And lift the wrist button screen means when you lift your hand, uh, like this, you can button the screen. And uh, also call remind, when you keep it on, uh, the band will remind you calls and uh, also short message all, all the same and do not disturb and uh, when you open it this uh, prompt uh, notifying you that after opening and at this period notification functions will be not uh, will not be available so and more reminders, you can set it here, like uh, LinkedIn, uh, Skype, uh, whatever you have, you can keep it on, so that messages of this uh, app will be loaded and will show in your smart bracelet. And also some, uh, let's go back. Mm, this, uh, this one, more reminders, alarm clock settings just the alarm and the time for my 24 hours and uh, 12 hours and the unit is metric and in parallel and I use metric site that factory site and uh, almost the form update uh, it's the latest version so I don't need to update it mm. 
uh, also this is a connected device. When you click it, the band will disconnect with your phone. And uh, this, they also shake snapshot. It means you when you shake your when you shake your bracelet, the, the it will remote control the your phone to take a photo. You can set it to like uh, let's see this timer off. So when you shake it, directly take a photo. Uh, I don't think it's very useful since the smartphone is very smart now. And operating instructions, or oh, this is the instructions, like how to use some instructions and uh, there's a trajectory of the history and uh, into motion mode and how you use the spot function. And also, frankly, frequently ask the questions here. You can find some answers and the feedback you can give some feedback here okay that's all